What's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over leak code 983 minimum cost ticket. The input is going to be two integer arrays and the output is going to be the minimum cost that we have to pay to travel on the days given in the days array. This solution comes from a user named Yellow Nautilus. I really like the code implementation is very clean that he posted up post his um, I'll post a solution in the comment below, in the description below. And before I get into the code, I'm going to show you the DAG dependency so it's easy to understand where the code lines are coming from. So first, we have to say DP of I is going to be dependent on the three different ways we can travel. So to have traveled on, D, on day I, we can either have bought a one-day ticket, a seven-day ticket, or a 30-day ticket. So it's going to be dp of i minus 1 plus cost of 0, dp of i minus 7, cost of 1, dp of i minus 30, cost of 2. Now, these costs come from the cost array that they gave, so we don't have to worry about populating that. All we have to do is pick whichever one is there. Now. <coughs> This solution is going to be using two uh, arrays. One is going to be a Boolean, one is going to be an integer. And let's write int n is equal to days of days of length minus one. And the Boolean is going to look like Boolean travel day is going to be new boolean n plus 1 and one sec check let me change the marker maybe this one's better yeah okay int is going to be the dp where we actually store the cost new int n plus 1 and our travel date is going to look like the size of the largest day that we have to travel. So in this case, it's 20. It's going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And every day that we have to travel, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, OK, 21. So um, yeah, 21. So every day that we have to travel, I'm going to put true. So this would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, blah, 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 all the way till 20. So we have to travel on the first day, or travel on the fourth day, sixth day, seventh day, eighth day, and the twentieth day. Now, the DP array is going to be the one that stores the cost, but we're going to use the travel day to decide whether we have to even pay on a given day or not. So let's get into the code. Now, uh, we're going to be for int i is equal to 0, i is less than dp dot length, i plus plus. Now, keep in mind the, into the travel day array I, I just filled with trues. If we don't have to travel that day, if the travel day of i is false, then that's cool. I don't have to buy any tickets. I don't have to pay any more money. My cost for that day is going to just be Oh, uh, we should start i is equal to 1 because we're starting i minus 1, right? So the, if I don't have to travel that day, then I don't have to pay anything extra. All right, so then once we fill, fill up the dp, we just continue. Else, we need to come up with the three numbers that will form the dependencies of the DAG to fill up dp of i. So I'm going to call each one of those 1, 7, and 30 because those are the days tickets that is given to us in the problem and this is going to be dp of i minus 1 plus cost of 0 because if I have to travel today I'm gonna have to pay what I paid yesterday and a uh, the, the price of the one-day ticket but if I'm trying to go with the seven-day route what I'm gonna do is dp of uh, either math either i minus 7 or 0 because in the beginning 
when i is equal to 1, if we do i minus 7, is it going to go out of bounds? And then it's just going to be cost of 1. And then dp of math.max, i minus 30, 0, plus, plus uh, cost of 2 here. And then what dp of i is going to be is going to be the math dot min of 1, 7, and 30. Now, I know that there is no three argument min function in Java, but you get the idea. This 1, 7, and 30 is pretty much going to be the DAG dependency. Let me just do it again for cost of 0, dp of i minus 7, cost of 1, dp of i minus 30, cost of 2. So these three numbers, these three numbers is what the dp of i is going to depend upon. And then all we have to do is return the last number in the DP array. So if you like this video, please subscribe and like it. And let me know what you think in the comments below. It will motivate me to make some more. Thanks.